everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Akriti and today's video is something I haven't done in a long long time which is my monthly favorites so today, today I'm going to talk to you about all the products I've been loving through through the last month and and without wasting any more time let's just jump right ahead if sorry guys if you can hear a lot of background noise it is my lawn guy so please pardon me about that and let's jump right ahead so guys FYI my categories today are pretty random pretty all over the place so that's I don't know so that's a theme today it's like bits and bobs from like you know every category so all right so the very first up is this candle this candle is by Yankee candles and it is called the evening snowfall uh, it's gone I really love this candle so so much all through the previous month I've been burning it constantly every single time I mean really usually I'm a person who you know kind of go about two candles you know maybe something for morning and then something for evening but then this one I've been loving I think all through the day and I've been burning this constantly through the month and it's over now I know it's weird it's spring but this one says evening snowfall but it doesn't really smell like evening snowfall it's really really calming very soothing I really like this candle and Yankee, usually Yankee candles are really really good and this is definitely one of those examples and I love this candle a lot and if you guys like anything soothing anything calming give this one a go it's really good so so the second thing I've been enjoying using for I think two months now is this product by is this lip balm and it is by pharmacy so this is how the packaging looks and this one is in the fragrance citrus lemongrass I love anything fresh as you know so obviously I had to opt for citrus lemongrass the packaging is cute this is how the lip balm looks um, it's you know a chrome top with some lip product in there so guys if you're one of those people who suffer cracked lips really really sad very very chapped lips just like me you have to give this one a go because this is a real savior in my life I think I bought it like two months ago and I love this I love this it's really really keeping all my crack lips at bay I love to wear a little bit of matte lip color here and there and this is really really saving my lips a lot so I love this product give this one a go the obvious factor of me liking it is that it's keeping my lips super nourished and super super hydrated so I like that part about it and obviously the bonus is that it smells amazing so yeah so that's number two all right so sticking in the same category the third is this one called a castor oil well this is a cold pressed castor oil I bought at Whole Foods so this is one of those products which in the night I would you know take on take on a q-tip and then I just you know apply it on my eyelashes I like to believe that yes it has made my eyelashes a little stronger but I think I see a little difference though I wouldn't give all the credit to castor oil because I'd say that I've gotten good genetics passed down from my parents because both of them have great eyelashes and I too I do too so it's not all the castor oil that's given me these eyelashes but yeah my genetics but I think the castor oil is helping me preserve it so yeah I like it and it's pure it's cold pressed it is it says it is you can also use it on your skin if you like to but I'm not I don't want to use something as heavy but if you want to give it a go go ahead and it is doing a great job for my eyelashes till now so if you want to give your eyelashes a little pampering session check this one out all right all right all right okay so moving on so the fourth thing I'm going to introduce you to is this here it is a body milk by Dior from their J'adore collection I ordered a J'adore so I ordered a J'adore and it was like I had an option of either choosing from like the big box so the box came with a J'adore body milk sample and I used it obviously and I loved it so I bought it again and so it's very very lightweight it definitely has a J'adore fragrance and it's it makes you smell amazing all through the all, all through the day and and it is really hydrating and so I, I love it and so I necessarily wouldn't like anything sticky or really heavy on my skin 
um, you know, through the summer or springtime. So this is perfect. It is hydrating, moisturizing, makes you smell like Jodor all over and I love that. I love that. I really, really love this and I think this is my second bottle already. So yeah, give it a go. If you're a Jador person and if you like something, you know, for your body, something very light, something again Jadorish, then please give it a go. It is really, really cool. I'm, I'm sure you're gonna like it. It's, it smells divine and has amazing packaging and it fits your handbag. Perfect. All right, so something really random, something I don't know if I would necessarily talk about, but I think I should definitely mention this because I've been loving this for the past two months and I even got my mom hooked onto this. I hooked on another friend of mine onto this. So I thought it'd be only fair if I told you guys about it because this one is again very, very moisturizing, very, very hydrating to use in the shower. So this is a shower gel, not very pricey. It is by Ole and it is the moisture ribbons, whatever. So basically, I, I don't know, right now it looks a little squished, but if you look at it, has like these purple and white lines running through all over the bottle. So the whole point is the probably the white is the moisturizer and the, the purple part is the body wash. So yeah, it's basically everyday body wash to keep your skin supple and hydrated. And I like that. And it's really, really fresh smelling. It smells great. Ooh, yeah, it smells great. I finished a bottle of this. This is my second one, almost halfway through because I like to shower a lot, as you could tell. Yes, I'm one of those people who shower like twice a day. Yep, twice, sometimes twice a day. I don't know. I'm just obsessed like that. All right, so yeah, I like to use it in a shower. Really, really good and keeps my skin super plumped, super nice. As you could tell already, I'm all about hydration. So guys, the last thing that I have loved through the last month, well, definitely I didn't, definitely I didn't take the entire month to finish the book but i've been listening to it like over and over for the entire past month and i've been loving it and it is called it is a book basically by and is and it's called the rich dad and the poor dad uh, and i really liked it and i'm definitely not one of those people who sits down with a massive book and you know go through it but i'm one of those people who like to hear hear a book through audible so I think it's easy and convenient because even if I'm driving or you know if I'm doing something else, I could I could switch on the app and I could you know read the book that way I could like listen to the book all through. So I can listen to the book and I kind of you know it sinks in more because it's like I'm talking to somebody and somebody's like drilling knowledge into me. So that's how I see it when it comes to books. I like to listen to it. I'm sorry for digressing, but the whole point is that I've been loving this book called The Rich Dad, The Poor Dad. And the book is all about, uh, don't get deceived by the title, where he's comparing two people, but what he's basically trying to do, I'm not gonna give you a lot about the book because I don't think be fair, but in you know a nutshell, he's basically giving us a glimpse of how two different people think. So the idea is that he is, he is trying to address how it's not important where you come from, but the most important thing is to know what you want to attain in life tomorrow. So he is really emphasizing on the perspective. Like what it is more important to look at what you're gaining than to say what I don't have and crib about it. And you know, live in that negative space. So it's all about uh, having a cool approach to life and having to, you know, uh, think about what I can do and how I am growing and what you could do in order to grow rather than you know being really upset about what you don't have or where you come from so i really like that book and i've been reading i reading in a way i've been listening to it a lot i listened to it once and i've been listening twice and i really like the book i really enjoyed it so all of you who like to you know have a good read or be able to enjoy new books and you know new suggestions so this is one of my suggestions to go check that book out if you like to you know have get a new perspective on life and your achievements uh, so it's really really cool so it is a really really cool read and give it a go if you like to read or listen in my case so this will bring me to the end of my video and i really had a great time sharing all of my favorites with you guys and if you guys have good suggestions for me book wise or any other products you'll be loving all through the last month do let me know and in the comments down below because i love love to read all your comments it really means a lot to me when you comment and you know tell me that you're liking my videos or stuff like that 
So it really means a lot when you comment down below because I like to receive some feedback. It's a nice uh, thing to look at and read. I love that part. So guys, take very, very good care of yourself. Keep, keep rocking, keep slaying. And until next time, bye.